break news welcome to today's news here is the headlines ethnic bias shock as simon ekwal exposes tinubu's wife secret in viral video Eth ethnic bias shock as simon ekwal exposes tinubu's wife secret in viral video to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as i read to this news A worrying trend has emerged involving the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a separatist group that has long sought independence for Biafra from Nigeria. IPOB recently announced the establishment of a former Biafran government, which represents a significant escalation in their tactics and a shift towards more extreme actions. This move has raised alarms on multiple fronts as it suggests that IPOB is willing to intensify its effort to achieve its objectives. Potentially, through more aggressive and violent means. The group's rhetoric has also taken on a more menacing tone, as evidenced by a recent threat made against a woman residing in Canada. This incident underscores IPOP's readiness to target individuals they perceive as adversaries, regardless of their location, which could have far-reaching implications beyond Nigerians' borders. Such developments are deeply concerning as they not only exacerbate tensions within Nigeria, but also risk drawing international attention and intervention further complicating the country's already complex geopolitical landscape. In a related development, a video has surfaced that allegedly shows Nigerian First Lady Senator Remy Tinobo making inflammatory remarks about the Igbo community in Lagos. The comment attributed to her have sparked widespread outrage and fear, particularly among the Igbo people who form a significant ethnic groups in Nigeria. The remarks have ignited calls for clarification or retraction, as many fear that such divisive rhetoric could fuel ethnic tensions and violence. The potential for this comment to incite further discord is especially concerning given Nigerians' history of ethnic conflict and the delicate balance that exists within its multi ethnic society. If this situation is not addressed promptly and effectively, there is a real danger that it, it could embolden others to engage in similar divisive behavior, thereby further destabilizing the country. Together, these two developments highlight the increasingly volatile nature of Nigerians' ethnic and political landscape, posing a dual challenge for the Nigerian government. On one hand, the government must assert its sovereignty 
and take decisive action to prevent secessionist movement like IPOP from gaining traction. On the other hand, it must also address the fallout from the First Lady's alleged comment and work to heal the deep ethnic divisions that continue to plague the nation. The government's ability to navigate these challenges will be crucial in, determine, in determining whether Nigeria can maintain its stability and unity. Failure to effectively address these issues could lead to a further deterioration of the security situation, with potentially devastating consequences for the country as a whole. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, to me, I feel there are still a lot of things that needs to be done in this country. You know, at some point, I feel it surpass, it goes beyond coming online just to claim this is who you are, this is this, this is that. We need people that would lead us, that would lead us right. Even as the president's wife, what is she trying to do to make the country in a good shape? As everything is now, look at the way everything is now. We all have ethnic bias. People are fighting. There are AIDS all over every, everywhere. Now the most, hated, the most hated tribe now is Yoruba because the few, the person leading us now is Yoruba. And definitely the all few is, um, is in a, is a, um, Tenobu.